that we've allowed the scientific community to create this sort of Spanish Inquisition and this fringe science topic uh, that we are looking away from phenomena that's happening around us all the time instead of studying them. And I got there and I was not exactly of that mindset, but I was expecting it not to be real. And I can tell you that with my own eyes, my own technical equipment, uh, and with multiple witnesses, you will see on the show stuff that is unexplainable by human technology and human means. And and, and I, I don't know what it is, where it came from, but I think this is the first time that you'll that there's actually real scientific evidence that's being shown to the general public as it was measured uh, things that cannot be explained by humanity's technology. And what if this phenomena is something like that, that, you know, we hear stories from around the world of things like this. What if this is a phenomenon that is dangerous to the general public? We need to know. Or what if it's just somebody trying to say hi and we don't know how to answer or we don't know how to understand what they're saying? We, we need to determine what this phenomena is. And there's nothing that looks to me like there's any government interaction uh, that I can point to that's causing any of these phenomena. Are you able to, in this first eight episodes, definitively able to button up any part of the experience or has it simply opened up more questions that need to be investigated? <clears throat> well, I can tell you what we can button up. The phenomena is real. It is 100% a real phenomena that so far remains to be unexplained. Uh, we have data, hard scientific data that says the phenomena is real. Other than that, I got, I've got no clue. 